What up my fellow dorks? It is the Turtle Dork back with a new trailer reaction for you today. So this is a film called Vox Lux. Now this is starring Natalie Portman who plays, from what I'm hearing, she plays a very famous pop star that is dealing with a trauma from her past. That's really the most that I know about this. Now, I don't know if this is the, it is, it's the second trailer, but I haven't, I don't think, I've, I haven't seen the first trailer. I've seen images from this from this film, and that's about the most that I've seen. And I've heard some, some, uh, some, uh, some critics talk about it, and I've, I've seen some write-ups on it um, coming out of the festival circuit about a month or so ago when TIFF was around, because I think they did premiere this at TIFF. Um, so that's about the most that I've heard about this film. Outside of that, um, been intrigued to find out a little bit more about it. I do believe it comes out uh, in December uh, because I think they are trying to do like an Oscar qualifying run for Natalie Portman because I've been hearing good things about her performance in this. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and check this out because I'm, I'm curious to see exactly what the story is here. So the second trailer for Vox Lux. So, from the public's perspective, this has been a emotional few years for you. Can you tell us what audiences can expect from the new album? This is a culmination of my life's work so far. I was under a lot of stress after my accident. But that's what this show is about. It's about rebirth. <laughs> Is that Jew Law? Celeste, come on. Everybody's downstairs. <laughs> it's a weird world we live in. And the way I've chosen to live my life. Please don't follow me. It goes against some people's views on things. Can I get a quick picture with you? Mom, I'm worried about you. You're worried about me. All that matters is that you have an angle. I'm scared. Keep it simple. You know, interesting. I'm, it's making me think now. Okay, it's remind. I'm sorry. It's reminding me of um, something I did here. I do believe that the event that happened to her was something. I think she was part of like a school shooting, and that's the that's the trauma that she's dealing with. And I don't know if like her music as a pop star is a ref well, it, it probably is in some way. It's got to be a reflection, because um, that's what art is. It's a reflection of the stuff that you've been through and what you kind of use to kind of you know um, heal yourself from something like that. But it also looks like that it's also something that's kind of tearing her down um and you know she's going through a lot of like uh, uh mental breakdowns and stuff like that so it's, it's interesting to see how they're going to correlate and juxtapose like the stuff that happened in her past with what she's kind of dealing with now as the successful pop star um it definitely has kind of like that very indie look to it uh, i think this is neon f uh, film so because it, it definitely looks like it's something that's kind of shot on film shot on something like 16 millimeters so it gives it kind of a very distinct 
um, kind of old school feel to it. Um, Jew Laws, it's always good to see him in the film. So it, it'd be interesting to see if he plays more than just kind of like a manager type of role in this. Because um, with some of the shots that they kind of linger on him a little long on, it makes you think there's a little bit more to his character, which I'll be in, interested to check out. But um, the tone of this was a little bit off to me. Um, interesting, but off because it was playing a lot with the comedic tones and you know how she was throwing like a lot of her temper tantrums as being like the successful pop star. But then once you start to, when they start to kind of throw little, um, little hints and, and and shots of you know what her trauma may have come from, then it it kind of switches a little bit. But again, I think a lot of that stuff will play well together once we see the film as a whole. But um, it it looks intriguing. It looks really really intriguing, and I'm a huge fan of Natalie Portman. So. Um, yeah, I've been hearing great things about her performance in this coming out of the festival circuit. So, yeah, man, I, I mean, color me intrigued. I want to check this one out. So, yeah, Vox Lux, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am the Turtle Dork as my screensaver goes down. <laughs> and with that, your boy is out.